The federal government did indeed seek to censor true information that didn't fit the policy goals of the administration. In fact, the judges note that not only different government entities sought to remove or censor accounts they didn't like, but they pushed for social media companies to amplify particularly government and government aligned accounts that supported the government's desired messaging, otherwise known as propaganda. The judges explicitly wrote that the plaintiffs have demonstrated ongoing harm from their past censorship as well as a substantial risk of future harm, they have established an injury in fact sufficient to support their request for injunctive relief. Does this kind of break the dam when it comes to censorship cases in the government? A hundred percent. You have the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals declaring that the Biden administration overstepped its boundaries and, you know, infringed upon the First Amendment rights of Americans all over the country, not just these individual plaintiffs, when they demanded and coerced and threatened social media companies to do their bidding or else. You're the only pillow that fights communists so you can truly have a free and happy night's sleep, go to MyPillow.com and use the promo code TRUTH for a discount.